my dear Pisces, this is a love reading, a prediction for Gemini season, May 20 to June 20, 2020, with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And the reading is sponsored by an anonymous Pisces. And if you want to sponsor a reading from me, you can follow the donation link in the description box. And this will be a love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. The reading can go both ways, the drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you that this is you, it might as well be the person or the situation you are dealing with. So use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. And if you, you're a cross watcher empath, uh, you might uh, find yourself also on this side of the reading. Okay, so... Uh, if you need more information or help after you have listened to this reading, you can turn to the love readings for Taurus season that is up. We are five days into Taurus season right now. Or you can check out the pick a card and near personal readings on the first page of my channel. Uh, click my little Queen of Cups icon and then the headline of each playlist to see all the videos that the playlist contains. And I'll start shuffling your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis. Okay, so when I open your deck here, I see the Four of Swords together with the High Priestess in the reverse. So it's some person that you are uh, deeply tired of, <laughs> Pisces, some kind of authority or a husband, a wife, a father, um, or the police, or some authority overall, like government, things like this. It's uh, something that's making you really fed up. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the eight of wands in the reverse with this um, uh, hero font here, or high priest. So you're so irritated with them that you don't seem to want to talk to them or communicate with them or reach out to them. Or if there's communication, uh, it's not communication that you like or would prefer. So it might be like bad messages coming through uh, from an authority or that a person that you love and respect might say things to you that you don't like or appreciate. So you just want them to go away, basically. So... Um, I called the, I remember, don't remember where I were, but the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have the four of wands with the hero font. So almost indicating a marriage or a situation where we have a social bond or an agreement or a, a, some kind of project. It can be a family situation, friendship situation, um, a give and take between you and authority or place of work something like that so it's something that has been rather harmonious or at least uh, uh, some some kind of um, peaceful agreement that has been going on in the past but you probably have felt like it was un unfair to you to your disadvantage uh, in one way or the other so I call the six elements and here we have the two of swords with this high priest. So more ignorance, more I don't care, more I don't want to talk to you. So we're going to see what that is all about. Oops. <laughs> Observe, teach the high priest again and opportunity beacons. So it's some, uh, some kind of challenge that you are confronted with, some kind of unwanted challenge but it will even though it's a challenge and it might not be what you wanted out of the situation it will bring you to something which you will have to look at or some kind of opportunity that might come down the road so something that looks like a bad situation or um, uh, almost like a challenge or a tower moment almost uh, is actually either a teaching moment for you or for the other person and also it might be some kind of shift of direction so if something that doesn't really work out in your marriage in your job in your friendships in your partnerships your projects it might be because this needs a, a change of course and a change of 
uh, direction and you have been trying to hold on to this situation because you wanted to be here and listen to this authority or you wanted to just be close to this person but now it's time for you to step into your own authority and doing your own thing here so try and spread your wings a little bit more than to just sit and and be um, <laughs> kind of taught and uh, of course it might be a situation where you are the teacher as well and even so it seems like there's going to happen some kind of change you might be discontent uh, either you are aware of it or not uh, with the situation as a whole but you have been staying in it because it gave you some benefits or, or some kind of um, um, safety or um, you know consistency like a marriage or place of work and things like this so hangman high priest and four of cups here okay so um, it, you're sick and tired of a situation with something that before made you feel safe or it was fun and happy and now and you have maybe go against the stream even to tell no this is such a great guy or my husband is great or my girlfriend is great and uh, or i love to um my work i, I love my boss when everyone said that uh, it, they are not a nice person uh, and now you might see what they mean <laughs> okay so so pisces love and highest path towards your highest destiny it was already done there so i will just tune in to you and your situation for a few seconds so this is the new bottom of the deck and it's a six of swords <laughs> and I feel some kind of speed here that you are rowing your boat really hasty away from this uh, problem. <laughs> row, row, row your boat. And here we have an eight of cups. So again with this overwhelming feeling. It's something that you have seen in a new light and you don't like it. Okay, so it might be something that you have been able to cope with before or you didn't feel that it was that much of a problem and now it's a problem. Okay, so uh, this is what's on your mind about the person most on your mind. And this is the situation you are in. And this is what's on their mind about you. And uh, this is your feelings towards them. The bond between you. Their feelings towards you. And uh, this is um, uh, your behaviors and attitudes. The outcome and their behaviors and attitudes okay so i start with the situation here and we have this um, uh, again taurus energy but it's the um, more spiritual part of the high priest we can say because the high priest is also taurus energy um, and it's in the reversed so um, again something you are fed up with you gave a lot to the situation now you don't want to give any more uh, it wasn't what you thought it would be. It uh, was not uh, what it was uh, kind of advertised to be or your dream didn't come true or the relationship wasn't as good as you thought. Something like this that you just have turned down your investment. And here what's on your mind about the person most on your mind. And we have the strength card here. It feels mostly to be about you, but I'm also feeling like it's almost like this competition, but by two equal strong forces, even though they might be some kind of authority and you are not, it feels like you are anyway kind of equals. It's just that maybe they have the whole society backing them up or um, you at least you believe it to be so. So I'm feeling a fear here while you are standing up for yourself. You're also fearful that they might be stronger than you. And this is their <laughs> their what they are thinking about you and we have this uh, devil here hmm so it might be that they have um, uh, felt a lot of support from society and thinking that they are good and you are bad and that's not the case it's just that they seem to paint you out to be 
um, like a crook of some sort and it's probably you know when you're pointing your fingers at others there's a lot of fingers pointing back at you and one pointing up to the heavens as well um, always point with <laughs> you know your whole hand um, so I'm thinking this person is actually throwing rock in a glass building uh, so they might be a little bit judgmental towards you and see a lot of flaws with you that they are only able to see because they have them themselves so that is what I strongly feel about this and this makes you feel threatened because it's it's hard to be with a person that can't see uh, like the tree for or the, the forest for all the trees. So it's like they're narrowing in on small details, so making them unable to see the whole picture. So if you had, uh, you know, made a joke once uh, that is... Uh, uh, that they didn't think was funny they feel like you are never funny or that you always come with bad jokes or you are such a person that jokes about this so it's like from one little seed they can make uh, like a hen out of a feather so from one little seed they grow a whole tree of um, um, uh, opinions I'm feeling opinions about you and uh, so it's just for you to be strong we can see almost this is uh, like a person persecuting witches in the olden days and here is the witch <laughs> so uh, and she is controlling the situation knowing it's almost like jesus energy um forgive them because they don't know what they do uh, because this person is is eluding some part of themselves that they can't accept uh, so they are kind of projecting it onto you and for you this is a scary situation because the person is um, um when the person is blind and can't see reality, it's scary because it feels like they are a little bit crazy or like unlogic or irrational. And, and if it's a person in authority that's in uh, illogic and irrational, you get even more scared. Um, I just saw something on on the news when I opened my computer. It was I, I hope it was a joke, but it was about Trump wanting to. Uh, for people's lungs to be sprayed with alcohol <laughs> and I see a lot of funny stuff like that so it's kind of that notion that someone says something incredible stupid uh, that is um, and the other people might listen it's almost like the emperor that had no clothes until a little boy said well he has no clothes everyone believed that he was fully clothed clothed they thought like oh i'm the only one that can see the craziness so i must must keep my mouth shut uh, because probably everyone else can see the clothes it's only i that can't uh, and here you need to stand up uh, to all that kind of energy and um, and say things like it is uh, like you shouldn't uh, do that to people's lungs, <laughs> for example. Okay, um, it's humor, of course, <laughs> but sometimes it can have a little dark edge when when someone truly believes such a thing. Uh, so this is the bond between you, and it's a nine of cups, so that's sweet enough. It's it's kind of a win win situation in some ways that both people get their needs met, but it's some kind of separation yet because nine is connected to the hermit card. So it's not really union, but um, you can anyway feel that this person have been fulfilling your needs and you feel connected to them, either you want it or not. And um, um, even if they are most difficult person on, on the earth, they are also the person that you are most drawn to in some sense because they have fulfilled some of your needs. Sometimes it can look a little bit like addiction, particularly with this uh, devil here with the chains. Uh, so it might be that you are fulfilling uh, each other's needs, but in a way that points towards this being an addiction instead of two healthy, consisting adults. <laughs> so it might be that we are uh, being attracted by a person because they have certain personally tr personal traits that trigger one of our wounds. And so we need, we crave that person because it's, it's helping us covering up some wound that we have. Uh, it's like they are a band-aid, uh, what they are doing or what they are saying. So um, it can be that the person resembles one of our parents that we don't have a good relationship with. So even if they are there and they're being nasty, at least we have a relationship now with our long lost parents. Uh, so it's a need, it's a, 
it's a craving, it's an addiction. Instead of healing in ourselves and becoming our own parent, we are taking like a, uh, an actor that can play this role. Um, and um, that is almost prolonging the hurt in one way. So this is your feelings towards them, that they are a bad authority that doesn't have the best opinions or the best viewpoints. And um, their feelings towards you is that they kind of agree with you that they are an authority and, and that you should listen to them most likely. So I don't know why this, what, <laughs> uh, what made, <laughs> it's, it's a saying, I don't know how you say it in English, but what made you God or what made you like the boss here, something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, I wonder, why do you think this person is the boss? Why do you think they are, uh, you know, the leader? And um, shouldn't the leader be based on their qualities to lead and not uh, their pushed off belief of themselves to be uh, all mighty or all powerful? It just looks like a very big ego. And um, we can see that all this a uh, man here is sitting uh, down in a posture, um, like powerful or, you know, just relaxed and very happy with where they are, feeling very unthreatened. So it's someone being, you have, you have admit them to be an authority in your life or you have been listening to them or uh, you have tried to make them happy or try to have a relationship with them and, and, if they wanted to be uh, a little bit inflated, uh, so maybe you have inflated their ego a little bit by saying, oh, you're so wonderful, you're so strong, you can run so fast, <laughs> you're such a great lover or whatever. And, and so it has inflated them as a balloon. I don't think that you really felt that they were an authority. It was more like you're pampering them a little bit. But now um, maybe you have created some kind of... Um, you know, monster here. <laughs> I'm not saying it's your, your doing. It's just that if we let people believe uh, their own legend, they can become a little bit um, like living in an illusion and thinking that they are worth more than other people. And it seems like this person have, have that kind of um, self um, image. Okay. So this is your behaviors and attitudes. You don't want to work together with this person anymore. You are definitely going to do some kind of revolution. Uh, you don't want to be on this train. You don't want to be go to that station anymore. Uh, it might be that you wanted to marry a person. Now you don't want to marry them. And you're going to be this runaway bride or runaway grooms. <laughs> grooms uh, groom, sorry. <laughs> and um, uh, so you're fighting against society. You're fighting against what's expected of you. And, and you are probably right because the this car is supporting you that you need to change direction. And you need to look like, is this emperor really having clothes on them or not? This is four, four cups. This is four major kind of four, the emperor. Uh, so, and this is their behaviors and attitudes towards you. So above all, they are lying or coming with misconceptions and they're coming with you know, things that's basically not true, but they are still trying to convince you with it. So you can notice this uh, with people in your family or friends or uh, <laughs> that sometimes when you caught them with doing something that they shouldn't do and you say you shouldn't do this, this is not great, uh, they will turn on you and make it to be your fault or uh, tell you that, uh, oh, but you, you should have seen yourself the last week. <laughs> so it's kind of this, that the person is trying to, you know, if you are pointing out that they are not a good authority or they are not a good leader or, or not a good partner or uh, husband or wife, they are, they are going to repel that back to you and, and tell you that you are the one that's not uh, good enough. And so they really don't want to take responsibility. They just want to keep this uh, um, overlord kind of attitude. And this is the outcome. So it's getting the witch vibration again. So my dear Pisces, this is also Pisces and she's in reverse. So you're not uh, happy with this situation. You're not going to comply to this person. You might not continue trying to convince them that they are wrong. You might just 
you know, start to become silent and turn your back towards them. And, and then they will think that they have won when really you just don't feel like arguing anymore. So that might be your little bit of your problem that you, sh you need to maybe continue arguing with this per person or uh, until they see your point of view because you, someone needs to take a, a needle to this balloon and kind of make it blow up and um, that person could be you but here I'm saying you know all this stuff you know that they are wrong you know that they are doing the wrong thing you know that they are being obnoxious uh, but you just frown upon them and, you know, turn your energy towards something that's more interesting. And, and they can go on with their illusion here because they will take your silence as they are winning. And you believe their, their lie here or what they were trying to, you know, tell you. But uh, you didn't. You just uh, haven't, you didn't have the energy to, to fight them anymore. So <laughs> I guess uh, my advice to you is to... Um, you know, tell more often that you see that this emperor doesn't have any clothes. Um, we have two of cups, two of swords, so two energies and, and death card. So there needs to be some kind of major transformation here. You know, realization. Yes, the emperor didn't have any clothes. So now everyone knows. And that is actually a loving thing to do. And we are, um, <laughs> instead of refusing to see, we are making everyone see. So it can be your mother is telling you, oh, your wife is such a great person. And um, you will tell them, well, I don't want to be illoyal, but uh, I fear that it's not the great match what I hoped for because things have happened. Uh, so you're starting to take away the illusion from people around you. Uh, what maybe you wanted them to believe before, but you don't stand by that anymore. Uh, so it's piece by piece taking down the protection that you have built around yourself uh, with this other person. So it can be that you need to admit to being wrong for trusting them or believing in them uh, to start with. Uh, but that's not a big loss. <laughs> okay. So um, interesting situation. But you know what to do. And uh, I trust you, Pisces, to have the wisdom. And we have the high priestess and the high priest. <laughs> no, high priestess and the high priest. Both are in the reversed here. So the divine masculine and divine feminine is not really getting along at this point. Um, but um, it doesn't matter. You don't have to get along. Uh, sometimes uh, we need to be in opposition to each other to create some kind of new... Um, new growth in some new direction this transformation that the death card is speaking about and it's more loving to be honest and true than to uh, cover up the flaws that you and um, the other person displays um, maybe on the cost of you they say you have this problem but um, they are the one carrying it and you might need to be a little bit more persistent with pointing this out so that the person doesn't be because they can believe that everyone, you know, went with a lie when everyone really thinks that uh, that person is really, you know, full of they, they believe in this illusion. So we don't even have the strength to tell them that everyone, you know, have seen right through them. So it's also a favor and a loving gesture to do to do towards this person because their self-image and what other people think of them is not consistent. So it's, it's not, it's almost like you're letting another person make a fool of themselves because you don't have uh, the energy to put them straight. Uh, so it, you would do them a favor by putting them straight and they could start to behave in a way that would actually give them more love and the more of the things that they want instead of having this false uh, image here being all blown up or inflated okay so uh, thank you so much for watching and i hope this was helpful if you like my content and want to support my channel you can do so not only by watching which is helpful but also liking commenting subscribing and sharing my videos you can also donate to my channel to the link in the description box or you can make google donate by clicking my ads or watching them watching them for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad, whichever comes first. 
that is helping me keeping my humble revenue up so I can free up time to make a lot of content like this for you on this channel. So I um, uh, want to thank you in advance. I'm truly grateful for my wonderful, loving and supporting viewers. Uh, so until next time, take really good care and bye bye.